The overall goal of this procedure is to generate genome-wide maps of protein DNA interactions in situ with high resolution and low background, without the need for formaldehyde crosslinking, chromatin solubilization, or antibodies. This method can help answer key questions in the transcription field, such as where various regulatory factors associate with chromatin relative to gene regulatory regions. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides high-resolution genomic binding maps with negligible background and avoids limitations associated with standard ChIP-seq protocols. Demonstrating the procedure will be Sebastian Grunberg, my colleague from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. In the afternoon or evening of the day prior to the experiment, start a preculture of the experimental yeast strain. Inoculate 3 milliliters of yeast peptone dextrose or an appropriate selective medium with a single colony of the strain bearing the MNA's tagged factor. Incubate this culture overnight in a 30 degrees Celsius shaker incubator. On the following morning, dilute the overnight culture into 50 milliliters of medium to an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.2 to 0.3. Incubate the culture in the shaker incubator until it reaches an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.5 to 0.7. Prepare the needed amount of buffer A plus additives and keep at room temperature during the procedure. Prepare microfuge tubes for sample collection. For each new factor analyzed, collect samples without calcium addition and add 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2.5 minutes, 5 minutes and 10 minutes after calcium addition.